In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and edit a data table for a chart in Excel. So first, we're going to make a chart of Monday and Tuesday sales. And to this, we're going to have the data we want to make a chart out of. Go to Insert, Recommend the Charts, and then we're OK with this chart. So just going to click OK. Now you can see we have a, a clustered um, column chart. So now to add a data table, we need to click plus or chart elements, and then we can just click a checkbox right here to add a data table. As you can see, the Monday, Tuesday, and then sales for each person, which is good because you can now visually see a table for each person that is in the chart. But as with a lot of other things in Excel, you can have a lot of flexibility in how you edit this. So we're going to click this icon right here. And the first option is to have legend key and no legend key. So you, see, you can see without the legend key, um, it doesn't show the colors right here, which is good because if you also have legends with legend key, it can become a bit repetitive. Without legend key is preferred sometimes. Now we can click on more options as well too. So we can choose what borders we want to see, what we don't want to see right here. So if you don't want to see horizontal borders, you can uncheck that. If you want to see vert vertical borders, you can uncheck that. Outline. There's flexibility in, in what borders we see and don't see within the data table. We also have flexibility in the design that it looks like. So we can adjust the color, for example, to be blue. And as you can see, um, you know, with that, the color just changes. And you can mess around with these different other options to really adjust um, how you want it to look. So you can change the way it pops out. You can change the transparency, the size of the colors, um, blur, angle, glow. You can have a 3D formatting. Um, you can just kind of mess around with this to really just make it look like how you want it to look. You can also adjust the color as well too. So right now gray is selected, we can select blue. And as you can see, the um, color of the border has been changed. We can also, you can also adjust the width of the border of your data tables to fit your needs. So you can change the compound type, the dash type as well too. The cap type, which is just basically what um, the dashes look like. So you can dash to square, render flat. A join type as well too. That said, I just wanted to kind of show you um, some of the options that you can have when editing the look of your um, data table. You can also have some flexibility in the text as well too. That's in the data table. It, it it is formatted similar to the way the normal text in other parts of Excel formats. So, for example, you can adjust the text fill. You can also adjust the, the outline of the text. You can also adjust the color too with the outline. As you can see, the outline is adjusted to be more orange. Yeah, and there really is much option um, for when it comes to adding the text box itself. But you can adjust the um, but you can adjust the look of the text to really make it look like how you want it to look. That's it. But that's it. You know, it's a lot of things in formatting, formatting in Excel. It just takes a little bit of toying around with, messing around with it to get it to, to look like the way you want it to. But I just wanted to sh make you aware that um, some, of the, some of the different options that you can use to edit, to edit a data table in Excel. I feel like a lot of people don't really know that there's just so much flexibility when it comes to editing the look of this kind of stuff. So I hope you found this to be useful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.